Jordan Moore, JJ, and J Mac. I need a uh, some kind of abbreviation for my team. Jordan, uh, my name, uh, Jordan McLaughlin, the freshman point guard, joins us here in uh, season. You, know, you got a scrimmage on Saturday. Season gets started a week from Saturday. You know, you're sort of the big hope here. I mean, everyone's excited about you joining us because you had offers from big, big time programs. You know, UCLA, Indiana, Kansas, among others. At least that's what I saw listed. So why USC? Um, I just believe strongly in Coach Enfield's game plan. You know, he wants to get up and down, push the ball at a fast pace, just like he did at Florida Gulf Coast. And I feel like with the players that we brought in this year, we were able to do that. And with the uh, returning players and then um, also the additions of Darian Clark and Caden Reinhardt, we'll be able to do that and uh, execute his uh, game plan. When you were making the, your, your decision, did you go back and, like, watch Florida Gulf Coast through the whole thing? I mean, were they – was it actually a program that you liked even before he got the job here, or was it just something when he got the job you started to research what they were doing? Uh, yeah, well, I never really knew a Florida Gulf Coast until okay. they made <laughs> the run in the nobody, tournament. Nobody, nobody did. did. That's <laughs> true, true, yeah. But you're a basketball guy, so I thought that you might have. Yeah, no, I didn't know the run until um, till they made the run. And then um, on my visit, Coach Enfield showed me uh, the plays they ran with Florida Gulf Coast and how they came off of ball screens. And, like, that's the type of style of play that I like coming off ball screens. And so I pictured myself in that point guard's position, and I just was like, wow, I could, I could really be in this position leading this team. Not many uh, freshmen get the ball in their hands from, from day one. And, you know, how, how much of, uh, of that are, are you excited about? It? Are there expectations that come with that? Do you, do you feel pressure with that? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely excited. You know, ever since I was born, I had a basketball <laughs> in my hands. And so, I mean, I'm pretty used to the pressure, and um, I think I'll be able to handle it pretty well. Now, how has it gone with your teammate? Because, I mean, you, you, you know, you come in highly touted, obviously. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you're still a freshman. I mean, some of the senior guys are looking like, wait a minute now. You know, we got to, you know, sort of, you know, keep this under wraps. But how how's it been in terms of, you know, getting along with your teammates and the transition in terms of getting them to trust you and you to trust them? Uh -huh. um, I mean, it's everybody's all, all open ears. So everybody's um, willing to learn and um, be able to um, just listen. You know, I'm um, out there telling them things that I know and they're telling me things that they know. And then uh, whenever we're uh, all the freshmen are being called freshmen, I just say, please don't call me that. Like <laughs> at this point, it doesn't mean anything now. You know, we're all grown men, so we're we're out there trying to achieve the same goal. And you don't have any seniors. I mean, this whole team is basically freshmen and, and, and sophomores. You got a couple guys that are certainly older than you, but I mean, how much does that help? And and how much is that you know sort of you guys getting a sense? Hey, we, we might be able to grow this thing together. College basketball sometimes can just be so one and done. Your team changes every year, but it looks like you guys could really build something. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, since we don't have no seniors, that's an advantage and a disadvantage. You know, the advantage is that we'll be able to have returners for next year. The disadvantage is we don't have any um, experience on our team except Caden Reinhardt, who's been in the tournament at one time. So he, he'll be able to lead us a little bit on that end. And then Darian Clark, one of our captains, and Julian Jacobs, our other captain, will uh, lead us through um, the adversity that we face along the way. You know, in reading your bio, I understand you had a torn labrum <laughs> after you left your high school senior year, and then you have to have surgery on the term labor. How, how did that process go, and are you we back to 100%? Uh, the process went well. You know, I was thankful that I was able to get it done early before I came here. And um, and then Darian Clark, he had the same type of surgery, and so he was um, giving me words of wisdom through that whole uh, situation with the rehab and everything. And then um, every day I was just rehabbing strong, getting uh, when, able, when I was able to, when I was clear to able to work out, I was just working out, going hard, get trying to get uh, back to, into the shape that I needed to be. And uh, I would say that we're 99.9% .9 right. back. <laughs> if anyone wants to get excited about this guy's game, go watch that video. I mean, down the stretch of the season, your high, your high school senior year, you're playing playoff games basically one-handed, going up against Stanley Johnson, who we're going to see in the, in the conference of the next year, maybe just one year, at Arizona. And, you know, you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. How are you doing that with one arm, basically? Uh, you know, it was just... Um, my adrenaline, you know, once we, once the ball got tipped, um, I just I didn't feel it no more. You know, for, for the previous games, it was the same thing. Once the ball tipped, my adrenaline just kicked over, and then my competitiveness, it just took over from there. And so I was just able to compete and uh, be able to be out there with my team. I was grateful. You know, one of the other things that sort of marks your coming to USC is the fact that you're wearing number 11, mm -hmm. which, of course, was a retired number. Bill Sharman, of mm -hmm. course, probably the greatest Trojan to ever play. You know, Ward, what kind of honor is it for you to have them take it out of retirement for you to wear it? Oh, man, it's a huge honor. You know, for them to be able to do that, uh, for him to allow me to do that, you know, I just hope I'm able to do at least half of the mm -hmm. things he did. He was a great uh, player, All-American, and so 
I just hope I can fill his shoes just like I'm filling his jersey. Yeah, I went to the Trojan tip-off. I saw a lot of alley-oops, a lot of <laughs> athleticism on this team. Uh, what can fans expect this season uh, from the Trojans since, you know, six, six out of eight guys expected in the rotation or six out of nine they, they've never even seen play before? Um, you expect uh, a lot of things. You know, lobs, everybody's able to shoot it, and then – we're looking to uh, get on the pick and roll and throw the lobs just like Coach Enfield wants. So we got the players to do it this year, and so that's what we're looking to do. All starts with you, man. We're looking forward to watching you. The season opener is Saturday, November 15 at Galen Center against Portland State. That's a 7.30 p.m. tip. That's a week from Saturday. This Saturday at 1 p.m., they have a, uh, a scrimmage that you can come on down and see, too. Forget two points for safety. Try up to 20% because with Allstate Safe Drivers with a good driving record can save up to 20% on car insurance with a distinguished driver discount, and that's on top of other discounts. So don't wait. Call Los Angeles All-State Agency Four Corners Insurance Services today. Thank you, Jordan McLaughlin. We're going to come on back and wrap up Trojans Live. Thank you.